This is just a quick how-to video on how to glue PVC or weld PVC. Um, this is a primer glue combination that I'm using right here. This is a one that is often called a primer or a glue with primer in it. Um, it's blue or purple depending on which brand you get. Um, this one I will actually show both of them. But this is this is a purple primer and a, a gray glue. The difference between the the um, gray and the clear and the light blue there's uh, there's a little bit of a little bit of difference in in what you you have and actually the brands the colors will be different but this gray one is really thick because it has uh, actually some pvc melted into it or dissolved into it so that it makes it um thick so that it seals better um i prefer the i prefer the gray and purple combination to be honest the purple is the primer which uh, uh cleans and preps the pipe I will show this one, however, just so that you have an idea of, of, uh, of the best way to be able to glue with all of them. All right, let's get started. So when you prime, you've got your socket, which is what this is. You can see the little ridge right here, down there in the bottom. That This um, uh, joint is actually tapered. It, it tapers down so that when the pipe goes into it like this, when you press it in, it gets tighter and tighter as you push in because it's tapered and, and it, it starts jamming up about halfway down. Um, what it's supposed to do is narrow that pipe down and make it force the outer walls against the edge here so that on the inside so that it will actually uh, um, create a really good bond. Um, all right, so when you prime, what you're wanting to do is simply shake off the, re uh, the, the remain or the, the excess so that you're not dripping all over the place. You want to you want to make sure that you put a significant amount of prime on, primer on, or I should say, significant and adequate amount of primer on, so that it it will stay moist throughout the whole process. So that that is about how far I would go. You have to do it fairly quickly. As you can see, I'm getting on my hands. I should be wearing gloves. All right. So when you're doing the pipe, you can see what it's doing as it's pulling that lettering off. Oh, and by the way, don't go any deeper than what this socket is, because if you go farther out here, you can actually weaken the joint. But as you're priming, once that lettering is gone, that that helps you to know that you're that you've uh, um, done a very a pretty good job at getting um, uh, enough primer on it to be able to actually soften this pipe up. Now I'm going to go back to this one and soften it up again, so that we can keep those joints. Um, or the uh, yeah the entire joint moist with primer before we get to the point of gluing it. Now I'm just going to put the cement, which is the glue, or you know again it's it is actually a weld. It's a chemical weld, so um, everybody calls it gluing, but you're actually welding. So you just take it, press it all the way on, and you can wipe off the excess if it looks that good. I don't actually wipe it off because it. Um, it, it can weaken it if you get way too much around here, but with that little bead, I, I actually think it looks better than wiping it off. You wind up with this um, either gray or purple track from wiping it off, and I think it looks uh, more professional when it has a very, very slight bead. Now, if there's drippage or overage um, around here, I would wipe that off. Um, now, to show you the blue, put this back together so we don't spill it. Now to do the blue, basically, get enough of it on it. Sorry, this is an old can. Just trying to do this with the stuff I already have instead of uh, costing an additional amount to be able to make this video. So when you're doing the blue, you want to use the blue like it is that primer. So you're, you're, um, and I keep calling it blue. It's actually just a, uh, um, a glue that basically it has the same components as the primer in it. So this side, and I always glue with my left hand holding the pipe just because that's the way that I do the best job. Again, don't go any deeper than the socket. Make sure you keep it moist. If it's hot, you need to do this very fast. And then press it together. Now, you can twist, if you have to, up to a quarter turn. Don't twist unless you have to. 
because it, what it can actually do is cause some rippling in the pipe. Another thing is hold it together as it's added to make sure that it cures. Now I can't even pull it apart. That's how fast this glue dries. Um, that's one reason I like to use the, this brand and these particular types because they, they um, cure extremely fast. Uh, I wouldn't put uh, water in this if I, have to, if I had to test anything for about 25 to 30 minutes, but I mean, I can't pull that apart. It's already stuck together and it's only been 30 seconds. So anyway, that's the proper way to be able to, to glue PVC. If you make it or make your joints like like this, they're not going to fail. Um, I tick I typically stick with the gray, but this blue or red hot or whatever brand you're using, um, they uh, this one is actually 721 Weld On is the one that I use. Um, I prefer this brand because it just seems to work better than than the uh, the other brands that I've looked at or, or used. Um, and this 711 is the gray that I'm using, and the primer is just P70. But again, I typically stick with the gray and the primer combination. Um, and definitely if I was going to do uh, something like a mainline, I would not use the, f the faster route of just doing the, the, um, the blue glue without the, the uh, blue primer combination. Anyway, thanks for watching. Please hit that like button and share. Have a good day.